Rob Kexero. I'm with Build a Mold AP Plasma Group. I've been here for uh, four years, been in the industry for 21 years. Build a Mold's been in the industry since 1978. We build a lot of quality molds. We do a lot of underhood, a lot of exterior molding parts. Uh, we are a one-stop shop where we, we do product development right through to the mold build, molding of parts, painting, assembly. We do have a lot of good customers and our customers have a lot of faith in Build a Mold. Uh, we are way behind in uh, in machinery and technology and, and that was where we went to Makino. We focused on our areas that were really the core of the, the business, uh, which was our large CNC machining, our components machining and our graphite cutting. That's why we set out the way we did to acquire the equipment that we did. We needed to enhance those areas. We've definitely noticed um, uh, a, a, an increase in our efficiencies on the whole mold build uh, across the board. Uh, we're about 20% more efficient on our mold builds. We, and, and our customers have taken note of the equipment that we did purchase and the quality that they're seeing uh, coming back to them. And through that, they've been able to place more work in-house with us, uh, knowing that we're going to put out a better quality job for them. And they know that they can rely on us to, to do that job for them. We've been able to reduce our outsourcing by 7%, which was the stuff that we were sending offshore and to local companies. Uh, we've been able to keep a lot of that stuff in-house, keeping our graphite cutting in-house, keeping our components cutting in-house, as well as our 3D blocks in-house. We've been able to keep everything within the build mold walls and not have to utilize too much on the outside, which has uh, definitely been an asset to us and, and help us increase the bottom line. When we started with the uh, Makinos, I think our, our operators were challenged with the, the older machinery and what we were doing and how we were trying to get the, the molds off the machines. And when the new machine came in with the speeds that, that the spindle speed that we had of the Makinos and the feed rates and the tooling that we brought in with the, with the machinery, uh, the quality of work was uh, night and day. The tolerances are, from what we see in our reports, uh, everything falls within spec or better. Target dates we're surpassing or we're hitting the timelines that are given to us. Our first tool that went through the uh, VG it, uh, was a rocker panel where we cut this mold and we took a week out of the timing right off the get-go. The first job that went up on that machine, uh, we gave our operator, our senior operator, a challenge and he ran with it with the support of the Makino staff and uh, technicians that came here to help us out. And uh, when it got to the mold making bay, it was nothing but positive comments and it all fell in spec. Yeah, we went from the old style with the clamps, threaded rod, clamping down the whole we were on a bigger tool, like from that first tool, that rocker panel, we cut about a, an hour and a half to two hour setup, and we took that down to almost 40 minutes to start the spindle and cycle start with the FCS uh, product. So we've put the FCS right now on the VG, and it is on the A61 cell, and uh, it's quick setups for new builds and for engineering changes. What we struggled with was there was a lot of machinery that was old around here, and we had a lot of good holding devices, but it wasn't really a setup practical scenario. So we tried to automate everything that we needed to burn in one simple process, and Makino helped us do with that. Uh, we bought an F3 and an F5, the F5 having a fourth axis on it, so now we can lay down carbons, pretty much pick out every carbon that needs to be picked out. The handle works phenomenal off these machines, and we reduced six machines that used to cut carbon down to two. The MMC2, when we actually went down to Mason, Ohio with Makino, one of the first things they told us, we, it would probably be one of our best workers that Build Mold would ever see, and they are exactly right. This machine runs all the time. It's like the brains of the machine, the MMC cell. It uh, knows when to bring in the part, take out the part. If it actually, in the middle of a cut, the tool life dies on it, it actually parks that part until that's been changed out and then it will actually bring that part back in which could be the next day or could be a week later. It's that smart that it knows that where it's left off in every component. And it, it feeds itself reliably, it doesn't stop. It's a 24-7 cell and it's a, it's a great machine. Since the day they've been brought in to build a mold, like the support's been right there, they've been pretty much bulletproof these machines have proven themselves time and time again, especially here in, probably in Windsor. They have a lot of uh, strength behind their finishes, their speeds, their feeds, their cutter lives. The productivity has a second to none. I would say it's one of the best machines on the market. 
there were some doubts when it was brought in because everyone has trouble with change. But I think once we seen what these machines were capable of, I think it surpassed everything that we thought it was going to do. So it's been a really good partnership with Makino. What matters most to build a mold is the, uh, the quality of, of product that we put out, uh, making sure that our morale can stay positive on the shop floor with the, with the addition of new equipment. We definitely put a focus in, on our employees, which in, in turn gives our customer a better quality part.